Hello and <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Hello and welcome back to Slender the Arrival. Uh, so we've only got three stages left. Homestead the Arrival and Unknown. Nin uh, 1895 eventually begins... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, we know that this part in particular is not in present day, which means the consequences of our actions are reduced slightly. Charlie's disappearance. Let's see what we can turn out. Mumble into myself, I think I'm an investigator, investigating the mysterious disappearance of one Charles little Charlie Matheson. Now, don't you know that investigating and poking your nose around where it don't belong gets people killed? Nah. In this case, it does, but it usually doesn't. Okay, so, let me think. We gotta raise that up so we can go out, right? We gotta go crank that handle. Give it a good ol... Brinker Cronker. I crouch under here? No. Alright, fine. I'll go around then. I don't wanna, but I'll do it. So, let's see. I got a couple silos. Uh, all wheat and barley should be stored in a subterrain cellar for cold storage. We can be stored up to nine months pending moisture. Dry grain should be taken to the cellar immediately for winter storage. Cooling the grain ensures insects remain dormant and minimizes mold growth. Well, good for me. Generator's out of fuel. Gotta find some fuel. Where might the fuel be? There's a house over there. Let me go inspectorize that house. Because I think I need to go in there, but I can't see a goddamn thing, so I gotta turn the lights on. And the only way to turn the lights on is to have the fuel. And the only way to have the fuel is to investigate the death of a child? I'm lost. Somebody help me. Somebody not tall and thin in a suit, but, you know, somebody of a more high repute would be greatly appreciated. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything back here. Maybe there's stairs? Maybe? Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Uh, can I siphon the fuel out of my car and into the barn over there, whatever you call that, the silo building, so that I may have no escape and no help when I'm being chased out of here very quickly. Seems to be a no. Maybe I've got to like telepathically raise myself up and get onto that platform. Maybe that's what I gotta do. I hope not, but maybe. Those seem to be fuel barrels. Can I take those? No. Maybe it was toward the barn more. Probably missed something. Probably. Let's see. Nothing behind. Maybe I'll just go in without any lights. It doesn't seem to be blocking my entrance. It is really, really, really omega dark in here. Jesus Christ. I hear some... Skimper and scamper in. I don't much like that. Can I, I can't see anything in here. It's so freaking dark. So I can go all the way back here. I go that way. No. I hear somebody talking in slow motion. What is that noise? I'm trying to like feel my way around in the darkness. Maybe there is a wall in there that I just can't see. Oh, wait, can I go over there? Oh, hell yeah. That's what I want to do. Go into the creepy other barn area. Yeah, this was what I had in mind when I went out today. I 
never watched the movie, but this is what I picture Children of the Corn was like. Just some jackass walking around out in a cornfield, awaiting his own demise. Do I want to go to the chapel or the cellar? Well, if we're going in ascending order of creepiness, chapel, granary, cellar. Or probably cha- eh, it's a tie between chapel and cellar. Which one is more creepy, though? I would say cellar. Let's go to the cellar first. Knock that one out. So my pansy ass can get out of there as soon as possible. Alright, cellar door. Nothing creepy about this with the chain. Well, okay, I don't... I mean... <laughs> it gets awfully dark, like, right about here. Oh, hey, I can turn the lights on. Nice. Alright. Oh, you asshole. Well, is that fuel? Can I take that? No. Oh, there's... Aha. Shuck all that, nerd. Oh. It's like really, really extra, super duper dark in here now. Uh, Granny Richter's Big Book of Stories. I don't know what to do with that, but... Hi? <laughs> uh, I see you have somewhere to be, so I'll let you get on your merry way. Oh, more fuel. Nice. I don't know how much fuel I need. But I've got exactly two fuel now. Two fuel now. Okay, I like I know you've got places to be, so go be in those places. Don't bug me though, you dick. Oh, okay, so magically it's light out now, and I appear to be on the opposite end of the fence. So maybe I'll take advantage of that and get the hell out of here. Oh, no, never mind. This is just where I was. Good. I didn't want to leave. You thought you pulled a fast one on me, but I, it was I who was pulling a fast one on you. Nice cicadas, by the by. I'm compelled to not look behind me and go start up whatever fuel thing needed to happen on this way. I'm glad my character can do quite a bit of sprinting so I can get the F out of here as fast as possible. Can I climb that? That looks climbable. I'm not going to try. But it looks like it. Okay, I'm officially exceedingly creeped out by this whole place. Let's hope we have enough fuel to last us to the end of winter or to the end of this chapter. Lights? Hey! Lights! Okay, I swear, I went over here and I could not go this way. So there must have been an invisible wall there. Alright, well, I think that... Is that the exit? That must be the exit. Yeah. No. I, I lied. When I said this must be the exit, I was actually lying a lot. And it is not the exit. Oh, hey. It's this asshole. Let me teabag him real quick. Alright. Only. Uh, can I uh, exit through the gift shop, perhaps? No. It's going to be a giant asshole. Oh, never mind. I can go this way. Okay. Uh, I retract my previous statement. You are no longer a uh, douchebag. Well, that's nice. Nice little drawing of childhood. Good thing Charlie's such a good artist, maybe he'll support his family in later years. I have no idea. A shed. Can I change my pants in here? No. Lots of chemicals. Oh, that's beautiful. Huh. This looks oddly like a poorly photoshopped picture with Slenderman in it. Also, is that FDR? That looks like FDR. Uh, off to the mid-left. Yeah. Cool. Ooh, a burned down house. That's always fun. Got a key. Picked up a gate key. Alright. For what? I am unsure. 
there a gate that I can open? I would bet. So, okay, so it looks like I go back through there. I'm betting that way down the fence is a gate that I must enter. So I get to go back through the children of the cornfield. Somebody running around in here? Or is the building creaking? I am equally uncomfortable with both of those things. Wow, it... I don't know what the deal is with, with this area of mountain and plain, but... The moon likes to show up as soon as you enter a building. If you're inside, you are fucked. Ba bum Ew. Gross, I hate skaters. Oh, I seem to be out of legs. Maybe this whole family has got bionic legs. It sounds like somebody's dragging a club across a lot of planks of wood. For all I know, that's what's happening. Maybe Charles has found a club. Who knows? Ah, yes, the gate. Alright. I was correct in my assumption. Let us enter. Wow, I just made the lock disappear. God, I'm so cool. Alright, who's on the tombs? Matheson's... Oh, is this just the Matheson chat? Yeah, okay. We got Hayes. Yeah, Hayes and Matheson's. Matheson, Matheson. Hayes, Matheson. Yeah, okay. Well, that's ominous. I s my skin started crawling there for a second. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah! What the shit? What the hell, dude? Only seek salvation. Um. A lot of trains. Okay. As soon as I can pick them up. Walter Matheson. Hey, the angels. Oh, so he—he he also disappeared. That's fun. Uh, let's see. A little accessory for the preacher. Always fun. We are gathered here today to call Slenderman's mama ho. Yeah. No, let's. Took a child's toy. Well, maybe I didn't want to ch take a child's toy. Um, hi? Hello? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, you're creepy. Oh. Hey! That convenient loop it made. Let me just... I feel compelled to sprint this direction. In the exact opposite direction of where you are. Oh, is this the back of the... Okay, so this is the house where I was. Oh, there's a staircase here. Well, that would have been useful a while ago. Come home. Lots of pages. Uh, so, I'm gathering from this... Since all these people are so incredibly old... That... The big boy's been... Fucking with this family for uh, quite a while... Dearest diary, Patricia still has yet to come home. Mother insists she ran off to uh, research for wild, oh, to search for wildflowers again. But I know that's not true. It was that man, that thing. Grandmother keeps ranting on about. I do not think she's mad. I have seen the man myself. He watches us as we play. Patty went to him. I just know it. If only Mother would listen, I wonder when she'll come home. Signed, Rose. Got a nice little depiction of Slender Man with a large old flower. Maybe the flower is what's been evil the whole time. That would be slightly less scarifying than... Ah! Well, I'm going this way. Screw you guys. I'm going home. 
Oh, wait, what? Oh, I dropped my camera. Okay. Well, if you didn't drop your... Uh-oh. God, I hope that renders well. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Well, we're back in the old TV office area. All right. So after that's done, I think the last thing is to run up the hill through the fire and flames. All right. Thank you all so much for watching, if indeed you still are, and I will catch you next time. Peace.